Bon matin tout le monde. Um, we gather here at the G20 at a particularly challenging time in the world uh, for geopolitics, but also for citizens all around the world. People are uh, struggling with the rising cost of living, with the impacts of global inflation, uh, with concerns about uh, increasing impacts of climate change, with geopolitical instability that's affecting communities uh, across Canada, but also around the world. Uh, and that's why it's so important that we come together to talk about these issues, to exchange frank views and discuss uh, how, as a global community, as the 20 largest economies in the world, uh, we can address the challenges that are faced by all our citizens and move towards a more peaceful, more stable, and uh, hopefully more prosperous world. Uh, C'est pour ça que les discussions aujourd'hui uh, et hier ont été si importantes. Uh, il n'y a pas toujours uh, des, uh, des ententes faciles entre les différents pays. Le G20 rassemble des pays avec des très différentes perspectives. Uh, mais le Canada a pu avancer nos priorités et souligner avec nos alliés uh, comment c'est important de protéger uh, l'ordre international basé sur les règles, uh, le multilatéralisme, la lutte contre les changements climatiques et surtout uh, l'emphase sur la création uh, de prospérité inclusive, des opportunités pour tous, pour la classe moyenne, uh, pour ceux qui travaillent fort pour s'y joindre. Um, on a souligné au cours de ce, ce voyage euh, une entente de libre-échange avec l'Indonésie. Euh, on est en train de parler d'investissement en énergie propre et nucléaire à travers le monde. Uh, we continue to work uh, with uh, partners on uh, tackling uh, conflicts, uh, whether it's uh, the illegal war in Ukraine that is driving up energy prices and uh, uh, really challenging the international rules-based order, or uh, whether it's uh, trying to push very, very hard for ceasefires, for return of hostages, and uh, a two-state solution in the Middle East uh, that is going to um, respond immediately to the extreme humanitarian crises going on in Gaza uh, and elsewhere. There's lots of issues that we've been able to cover over these past two days, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back, to, back home to Canada to keep working on uh, supporting Canadians directly.